back from Tasmania. I met Neil down there, another magician, and he was telling me that there's a water shortage in Tasmania. He's not allowed to water his lawn because of the uh, water restrictions, and there's even not enough water for the hydroelectric system for power. I can't help him with the power, but I said I'd look into getting this uh, garden tap to provide water for his garden. But I need time to work on that one. So I'll put that aside. But when I got home, I found that I had a bit of uh, correspondence from uh, some of my friends about the last Trevor's Magic Dice and Cards trick. They were wondering, why do I use dice to select the cards? Well, it's because I do these tricks on my own. I don't have an assistant. Other people wondered why the black clock. Well, that's for you sceptics out there who think I might cheat by stopping proceedings to switch the cards or change my prediction. But the clock gave me an idea about doing a trick with the clock. So I can't use this clock because you can't see the numbers very well. But this clock here, the white one, um, much better. And then I thought, right, what am I going to do? So what I propose to do is throw the dice and say if 5 and 1, that 6 comes up, that's 6 o'clock. I remove 6 cards and then I get out 12 cards and put one for every hour of the day. Now these are the cards I'm going to use. As you can see they're all shuffled randomly. Okay, some of you don't believe me. So we'll also cut the deck. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I say yeah, a few times. So now, oh, you still don't believe me? Okay, you reckon I saw the bottom card or the top card? Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to predict what card I'm, the dice are going to su su subject, uh, select. So I've got a bit of paper here. I'm going to write down a card. I'm not showing you now. I'll show it to you later. But there's uh, lots of cards. Ace to King and four suits. Spades, diamonds, hearts and clubs. I'll put that prediction in there. Put the lid on. Put that there for safekeeping. So, now I'm going to throw the dice. And two is seven. So as I said, I'm going to discard seven cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need twelve cards for the twelve hours of the day. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, don't need those. Just remember here, seven. Is the total. So I'll bring this clock up and lay the cards around it. One o'clock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I've made a prediction in here what the card will be. Let's have a look. Now remember this is the card at the 7th uh, clock position, which is that one. I've suggested, or predicted, it's going to be the 4 of hearts. Let's pick up the card at number 7, and it is the 4 of hearts. I hope you like this little trick. Look for, the, look for the next one in Trevor's Magic Something. Bye for now.